Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. There's a long-running radio program in Great Britain called Desert Island Discs. Celebrity guests are invited to come and talk with the host about their lives and also to pick 10 recordings that they would want to have with them on a desert island. The guests are told that they will have the Bible and the complete works of Shakespeare. They don't have to pick either of those to be on the island with them. They're already there. I would imagine for most of us, when we think of Shakespeare, we think of him as representing the secular world and the, the Bible representing the, the spiritual or the religious life. But make no mistake about it, Shakespeare was a man of faith and he expressed his faith in poetic form. Here's an example of that. O oh Lord, that lends me life, lend me a heart replete with thankfulness. This little piece of, of poetry has some lovely insights for us. One is that God lends us our lives. Very often we think that we own our, our lives outright and that we can do with them what we want. But no, this reminds us that God is the one who has given us our lives and we must return to God what has been lent to us. These few words also remind us of the importance of thankfulness. We are called to be a thankful people. We hear this message in the first letter to the Thessalonians from the Apostle Paul. Paul gives thanks to God. He gives thanks to God for the people, the Christians, in Thessalonica. I'm reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 2 through 7 from the New Revised Standard Version. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in full conviction. Just as you know what kind of persons we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord. For in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Paul gives thanks to God, gives thanks for the Thessalonians, for their works of faith, their labors of love, and the steadfastness of their hope in Christ. Paul also calls the Thessalonians to be an example, an example of thankfulness to other Christians. We ourselves are called to give thanks, to give thanks at all times and in all ways. And we are called to be an example, an example of what it means to have hearts that are full of thanks. This is a, really a challenge for us. We have to challenge ourselves not to keep our, our thanks to ourselves. We need to speak our words of thanks out loud. We would love it, wouldn't it be great if people were to describe us as thankful people. In your prayer journal for today, draw a heart, a nice big heart, and then in the center of the heart, write the words in giant letters, thanks. May this be a reminder to you to live a life replete with thankfulness.